Sometimes when we're out in the woods, we will encounter some things that we really don't want to see, and we call those exotic invasive species. They could be plants, like shrubs, or other sorts of things that we just don't want around. But why are they such a problem? Well, let's visit a school forest, talk to some students, and see what they did about their exotic invasive species. Getting started with a school forest can be exciting, but sometimes teachers have to deal with a lot of unexpected obstacles first. For instance, having to deal with exotic invasive shrubs. So exotic means that the plant has been introduced from somewhere else, and invasive means once the plant gets established, it takes over and dominates wherever it lands. Last fall, we visited a teacher by the name of Sue Blackall from Appleview Elementary School to ask her how she involved her students in removing an exotic invasive shrub called Asian honeysuckle, and that made their forest a better place to learn. I thought it'd be a great place to have science lessons, get the kids outside, and the teachers are really encouraged to take the kids outside during COVID. It's two and a half acres that's just within a couple of, little bit of walking distance from our middle school and Appleview Elementary. That woods was full of the invasive Japanese honeysuckle. These Japanese honeysuckle, they have berries along the stem and the berries are actually a diuretic to the deer in Turkey mostly. So if they get too dehydrated, they might not make it through the winter. Because this is what, the invasive honeysuckle, right? Yeah. Okay. And those all, all little branches came back after it got cut back, what, last year? Yeah. Wow. It's hard to cut and it's so pokey. It is pokey. <laughs> so why are we getting rid of these things anyway? Uh, because they put in chemicals in the ground to prevent other plants from growing. Oh, okay and animals don't really like these like they don't know what it is so they eat it and like not knowing what it is so they're really proud of what they're doing um, and you know most of the time especially when the kids first start third grade they think the only way to help nature is to pick up trash so it's really new to them about uh, bringing in the native plants back there were just a uh, small number of native plants here before we got started, but now we're in the hundreds. The biggest lesson is the native plants will not come back unless you bring it back. There's no other way. So um, that's a huge lesson for them. If they didn't do it, pretty much, is it going to happen? Probably not. So as you can see, school forests are a really fun way to learn. And you can have some fun too, just by identifying exotic invasive species or removing them in your own area, you can make our forests even that much healthier. A good place to start is to take some steps to learn about what Asian honeysuckle looks like. But there are other non-native invasive shrubs too, like buckthorn, multiflora rose, and autumn olive, and they're pretty much everywhere in the lower peninsula of Michigan. If you have a chance to identify or remove exotic invasive species from where you are, we'd love to hear about it. Place a comment in the comments section and let us know what you're up to. And hey, help us out by hitting that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. <laughs>